A cool but sunny day for boys cross country at Wabonzi Valley as the Warriors toast to Kalb and Naperville Central for their third DBC Triangular of the season. Starting the race from right to left, we have the Red Hawks of Naperville Central in red, in the middle the Barbs of DeKalb in orange, and on the far right side we have the Warriors of Wabonzi Valley in green and yellow. Coming around one of the first corners, we have a pack of Red Hawks and Warriors that include Zach Benzinger, Ethan Marshall, Angel Solis, Andres Perez, Jacob Tucker, and Joey Sweeney for Dub V. Central has Kyle Rose, Paul Villasenor, Philip Marrero, Samuel Barnard, Peyton Etzel, and Luke Flessner among that group. At the two mile marker out in front is DeKalb's Riley Newport and Wabonzi's Zach Benzinger. Followed by five Warriors including Marshall, Solis, Perez, Tucker, and Sweeney. And shortly after is a group of Red Hawks containing Rose, Villasenor, Marrero, Barnard, and Etzel. Finishing the race in first with a time of 15.57 is DeKalb's Riley Newport who has run well this season. About 5 seconds later in 2nd place is Dub V's Zach Benzinger, finishing 3rd is Wabonzi's Ethan Marshall, and in 4th place is teammate Angel Solis, and in 5th is Andres Perez. The top runner for Central on the day is Kyle Rose with a time of 16.53, finishing in 8th. With 6 of the top 10 runners, Wabonzi Valley takes the boys cross country victory. Overall, I'd say I did really good. I've been trying to push for a second faster mile since uh, ever since I started running, really. I've always started off strong, had a weak second mile, and then finished strong on the third. So today, if I had to say anything I did really good on, it was holding strong that second mile, better than usual. Never felt that strong on it, but overall, so things I can improve on, like catching the guy in front of me in that final stretch, and also just making sure that I don't fall off the, back, the front pack as easily as I did. I think in a certain extent it has given us an advantage because most of our year we've been training hills so when it comes to uh, the hill that's on our course which is pretty prominent I think we have a, a somewhat of an edge over a lot of other guys who might not do as much hill training and might struggle with that bit so I think our home course does have a bit of an advantage as also as well as seeing our own, you know, our own family here to kind of cheer us on that always helps a little bit too.